All right, my laudable and lavish little lichlings, it is time to play this fucking game. Whoop, Gotta whoop. get better alliterations, longer alliterations. Next time we're gonna do 20 L words. You got it. Uh, Dan, <laughs> could you give us the recap? Oh boy, I am I, I, I am trying to remember all the things. Okay, um, I remember all the stuff that happened in this room, but I'm, I'm trying to remember what happened before this room. Um, this will jog your memory. We were in the sky. With Lucy visiting a oh, particular yeah. healer. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. with Lucy. Okay, I was trying to remember if there's more city city adventures before that. Um, nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, so so we we had a fun time heading up to the sky prison to stop a uh, a madman that wants to magical nuke the world. Um, but some things are kind of sus, like. Hey, maybe this totally malicious guy is also being manipulated and or being complicit with his uh, brother who's totally pretending to want to just arrest him, but there's... Nephew. Hmm? Nephew. Nephew. Oh. All right. So we get there. We uh make our way to his room and... uh. He starts, uh, you know, acting kind of crazy. He seems a little bit crazy, but it's also kind of played up. So it's kind of got this whole, uh, oh, God, what's a character to compare that to? Ah, yes, this guy. Parker Van Horn. He is, uh, he, he is smart and kind of crazy. And he's, he seems to, he seems to be one of those fun guys that thinks the whole world's just one big old game. You know, it's just, we're just going to mess around with things and see what happens. Those aren't people, they're ants. Or whatever and uh so right now uh, we uh tried to sort things out we uh might have made a mistake about breaking that little spell they had over him that made him a temporary big dumb dumb and, and now he's he's big not dumb and their shadow beast in the city might get nuked and we're stuck in this prison with him right now and now we need to uh survive the uh shadow magical beast and hopefully stop the magic nuke from blowing up the entire city oh uh, yeah the uh whoever is running security basically turned off the cell and is like locked us in here and i think we were told i think that what happens is the basically the bottom opens up and you just fall to your death so in that hallway yes that is how it works not in the uh yeah he's trying chambers. to make the whole place come down Exactly. Oh, I forgot um, about that part. London yeah, Bridge said, is falling down. They said, oh god, the prison's broken. We're going to try to murder everyone inside of it. And then, and then, But that seems to probably be something that he had a contingency for. So, Also, we're in the prison. Yes. The prison, one of the like main prisoners, or prison guards, is trying to kill us and him. Specifically him, but we're collateral damage, so... Unfortunately, yeah. And uh, just to reiterate, you did actually meet with uh, Chancellor Theo Quen, and you also saw that he was talking with uh, Counselor Dane Lafir and uh, Counselor Anir Nahazar, and of course, your mother, Counselor Lady Vianola. And also, I did re dumify the. Uh... He willingly failed as well. Yes, which is he the did. weird part. It's because he he wants to fuck around and find out. And he's uh, doing an Ocean's Eleven. And 12. the sure. <laughs> and the uh, the individual who is uh, trying to take down the uh, thing, the jail or prison, is named Nigel quote Bunty end quote Buntrose. So just Nigel Buntrose, but they call him Bunty. And as you guys tried to step through the portal, you couldn't. And as soon as you tried that, the wraiths look immediately at you. And they're coming at you. Roll mm, initiative. Hang on. I, I believe Our necklace is not working? I'm so sad. I believe there was something we had to resolve before this. Oh, right. What was that? Uh, divine intervention. And what did you choose? Um, that 
that Nigel Bunty Buntrose would be physically and mentally unable to cause harm to our party and God, the wizard man. Like Parker. Like that is Parker. Parker. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I still think my original idea was cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was, but you know why I, I yeah, said I know. that. <laughs> Probably way less likely to work. <laughs> I feel like your god isn't, like, super nice. He's probably like, eh, fuck off. Like, you can figure it out. I just yeah. helped you not how many moons ago? Calm down. I don't remember. Elora, you are rolling um, GM, just so you know. That's weird. Um, uh, I had to reinstall the fucking D&D Beyond, so that's probably. This is gotcha. never Whisper. Was it both my role that rolled DM and Barry's role, or just Barry? Just Barry. Oh, okay. It must be just outside of. Sporalina, you see these Echo Wraiths. Uh, first, uh, I should mention, they shifted from humans that were, like, part of the scene and part of the memory for Parker Von Horn to the Echo Wraiths. What are you doing? Uh, I'm assuming I can tell that they look like they're going to attack us even though we have the special bracelets on. Or In, necklaces on. Indeed diddly they are. Ugh, oh, bummer. Okay. Echo Wraiths. Echo Wraith. Uh, what the fuck do you do to attack a wreath? <laughs> this is spoiling enough. <laughs> Just like, um, they're like super see-through. Can I actually even hit them with anything? Uh, yeah. Something tells me that they would like enjoy necrotic damage. And they're called Echo Wraiths, which lead me to believe that whatever you do to them, they're gonna do to you. I don't know why I feel that way, but I feel that way. I think that's a good hunch. <laughs> I'm glad but... you're going first. Okay. <laughs> I am going to take an attack opportunity from that guy. Okay. And I'm going to go right here. And then, I'm so sorry, Kaylor. Or am I? Yeah, I am. I don't think you are. That does 15. not hit. All right. It does not. Um, I am going to blast Sunbeam out of me. It'll hit this one, this one, this one. And Kaylor. That's and just... Kaylor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll that. It found... <laughs> Yeah, it's a con save from those three. Uh, also, my DC save is 21, not 20. Fail, fail, fail. Uh, so they take 29 radiant damage. Uh, all right. And could you please roll for me uh, an extra 2d8? Uh, they're also blind. Yeah, I was going to say, I think there was something else I just couldn't read. 2d8. And that, so it really did um, 40 points of damage. Okay, so they're susceptible to radiant. Yeah, on a successful save, it takes half my... Undead and oozes have disadvantage on the saving throw. It doesn't matter, they all failed. Okay, uh, this is a concentration, by the way, so I am concentrating on this. Uh, right. and they are all three blinded. Okay, great. Yep, that's it. The ones that aren't blinded look to you. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. All right, the one that is blinded directly in front of you, uh, it, it can't see you, but it just kind of lunges out for you. 23 to hit. Yeah, that's going to hit. And then con save. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, you're good on your con. You take 22 necrotic and 7 psychic. How about new? <laughs> Kid. All 
right. I'm trying to think. Uh, Sunbeam. Action. I'm going to go with a no. All right, cool. So that was that dude's turn. Do they have double attack? Multi-attack. Makes two melee attacks. Would you look at that? Yeah. Is life drain a melee attack? It's not like claw or something? That doesn't hit. But I thought... Uh, I'm using uh, the slam attack. I know it says life drain, but ignore it. You don't oh, have okay. to worry about the con save. Uh, 13 to hit, or 8 to no. hit does not hit. All right, cool. Alora. All right, I'm going to uh, psychically tell Barry to go keep Auntie safe, and then I am going to bite my tongue and scream, spreading my blood out into the air, and a little drop of it seems to uh, find everybody's weapons. Casting Battle Cry. Uh, first time you attack uh, on your turn until the start of my next turn, you get a plus two bonus to the attack, and if it hits, then you get a plus five to damage. Ooh. I'm gonna go. Nice. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna do one attack to this guy first. We're gonna go minus five to hit for plus ten to. Add advantage since he is blind. All right. The AC is a sixteen. Uh oh. It's a twenty. Oh. That's good. All right, plus 10 to this, 25, 32 damage. That's necrotic. I don't know if they take necrotic. Uh, they are immune to necrotic damage. Okay, so 20, uh, that's just 25 base then. 25 base. Uh, okay. Make a wisdom save. Okay. Plus 25. And how would you like to kill it? Um, I just... Uh, Flash with my blade doesn't seem to go through it well, but then the bl the blood that's coating the blade flashes and just disperses it into the red mist. Make a wisdom save, please. DC Sorry, 17. Yeah, it's a, I'm using a half screen right now. Wisdom. All right, 28. You are good. You feel like a reverb. Uh, something in your uh, the damage that you do to this echo wraith. You feel like a kind of just like go back at you but you resist uh, whatever the effect was, luckily. Sweet. Uh, I will take second attack at this guy here. All right. Also do minus five to hit for plus 10 to damage. AC is 16. 23. Definitely hits. Uh, 24 damage. And plus 24. How do you want to kill him? Same way, uh, and since oh, I already did my bonus action, so that's it. I will, I will safely. remain here. Okay. Seventeen. Sorry, no, that's my. It doesn't matter. That it's plus twelve. So. Plus seven. What? What? Plus seventeen. That's my attack. I did. I clicked the wrong thing, but uh, I rolled a uh, fourteen plus twelve twenty. You're good. All right. Cool. Uh. All right. Kalor. Okay, um, I feel like if I just hurt these things normally, they're probably going to be doing a big ouchie to me. So I am going to try out, although I don't know if this is the best use for all my sorcerer points, my brand new umbral form. So I am going to blow six points to do this. It's a bonus action. In this form, you have resistance to all damage except for force and radiant damage. You can move through other creatures and objects. Uh, da, 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 da. It ends early if you're incontested, if you die. Da, da. Okay, cool. Sweet. All right. I am the shadow, and <laughs> I am going to smite you with not necrotic, because we've established that don't work on So what you're sending? Yeah, I am going to send. Do do do. Where is? It? Is it? Nope. Nope. Ah. Yes, I I, I think I remember what I was going for. Okay. There we go. Do do do. Let me double check. Bye. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Fireball on the keg. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's deck saves. You said. Yeah. 
uh, a plus one to these. So just two of them. Yeah. So it'd just be this. It would All just right. be. It would just hit this one and this one. Yeah. All right, and they are resistant to fire. So they are going to take half. This guy takes it all, but half is still, uh, what is that, 14? 13. And then this guy, oops, come on, is going to take quarter. All right, anything else? Um, yeah, I'm going to move up on top of the table as a floaty shadow person. All right. I am but uh, one of you. <laughs> you can you hear at this point Parker von Horn just say, "Echo, echo, echo," just repeating it. Uh, all right, Cinemora. All right, I have never used this spell before, so bear with me. Rawr. I'm going to cast I love honey. Staggering Smite on myself. And I'm going to run toward. I'm going to run towards this guy. Advantage. But uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's not an attack. I was going to uh, say I can't attack. Well, it is. Isn't it? A, is this a bonus action? I think it is. I don't know. It is. It's a bonus action. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, a bonus action. So you perfect. have to attack. Did you take a then... level in paladin? No. It's just there. Oh, Bard weird. secrets, maybe? Maybe. But we'll go ahead and use Rapier. That'll absolutely hit. Go ahead and roll Whoop. damage. So that's Little eight. Spike. And then wisdom save. This is a plus zero, so a minus two. Also plus, yeah, that 15 psych. Oh, yeah, he did. Or, yeah, he Three. is dead. Uh, how would you Whoop. like to kill him? I'm just going to, like, go up behind it since i figure it's probably looking at sparlina give it a quick stab realize how much more damage i do and then i'm just gonna look to the next one and smile and be like you're next go ahead and make a wisdom save shit i thought it had to make the wisdom save All that's right. five 14 i don't know if that helped. it's a 17 uh eight plus 15 is 23 halved is uh, 11, you take 11 points of damage. Okay. All right. How does that happen, Jesse? Uh, you see it's called a mental mirror. When an echo wraith is hit by an attack, it can use its reaction to force the attacking creature to make a wisdom saving throw on a failure. The attacking creature takes half the damage of their own attack as it is Okay, I'm going to die! <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so Ow. this guy is going to rush towards uh, Laura. And is going to... It's not a life drain. I'm just using the statistics. This is a plus six. Ah, that sucked. Uh, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, that sucked even worse. Uh, I'm much scarier than a new motherfucker. He's going to come up to uh, Sporlina with a 24 and a 16. Uh, is he the blinded one? Uh, no, it's this guy right here. Oh, uh, the 24 will hit. The 16 misses. All right, 19 points of necrotic, and then eight points of psychic. As they echo through, do they have anything else? Uh, that that psychic damage comes from their mind teeth ability. When the echo wraith hits a creature, that creature suffers an additional 3d6 psychic damage. Uh, all right, so that was okay. its turn. I think it is Kurtz's turn. Oh, cleric. Doing a little action to count the mini, mini, mini. Um, yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm gonna whack him with, with the mace. Twice. Make a wisdom oh. save. Natural oh, 20 looks lovely. good. That'll love your divine smite too, with that radiant man. 25, it does not reflect back to you, thank God. Uh, and that is a 10 plus uh, 21, 31, plus another, what is your smite? It's a d8. Roll another d8 on top of that. What did I say? I'm 30, we're at 31, and that's an extra 32. 32 points of damage. The Divine Smite is radiant, though. Yes. 
Yeah, I know that's what I added. I added oh, the doy, yeah, because we're adding d eights instead. Did that kill it? It did not. It is cool, still alive. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> 23, that'll hit. It already uses reaction, so I can't use it again. Uh, bludgeoning, Divine Radiant, roll another d8, please. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Another one. Uh, that is 8, 11, 21, 22, plus 22. Is it going to be enough? Math, it has two hit points left. <laughs> Dang. Oh, that's Sorry. It. All right. Uh, this guy's turn is going to rush down to Elora and get on this side of Elora and get advantage. If you can. We all know Elora's armor class is insane, and that's going to miss both times, yep. Barry. Berry, he is a berry. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do. You... I doubt these things can be paralyzed, but uh, y'all. And uh, oop, right here is fine. Barry's going to force them, all three of them, to make wisdom saves unless they're immune to paralyzed. They are immune to paralyze. Okay, cool. And Barry's gonna go. Oh. Uh, you know what? We'll just we'll stay here, and we're gonna do some smack attacks. Uh, two to the bottom, to the top. All right, the one at the bottom has his reaction back. So if you do hit, which the natural one misses, the first one, uh, twenty-five is gonna use this reaction. Make a wisdom save, Barry. Barry, not very wise. It's okay, we still love him anyway. A natural! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> All right. uh, take 8 points of damage while he takes 16 plus 17 plus 14. What kind of damage is it? Uh, It's reflected damage, so it would be magical bludgeoning. Oh, okay. Uh, so, plus 16. Sorry, plus how much did, I, did he take? He took 16? 8. eight oh, eight, half eight, of it. Eight. Yeah, half of it. And 31. All right. He's not looking good. Anything else? Second two attacks, which is the top guy. Oopsie. All right, cool. All right, so then deduct 31 and add 31 to this dude. Cool. Anything else? That will be Barry. Sporlina. It's-a me, a Sporlina. Uh, all right. Oh, God damn it, Kurtz. Why are you going to be right there? <laughs> <laughs> um... Could just move to the where the chair is and blast against the wall. There, I will jump up on the chair and be like, uh, taste my light, shadow fucker, and I just blast another sunbeam at him. That's gonna be another con save. Uh that's what you do, Scott. <laughs> yeah, how, right would, how would you like to kill him? She Hiroshima is him. <laughs> Yeah, he. You, you just see the shadow of his body is now burned into like a, a cartoon sculpture on the wall. It's a little dark of a joke, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> All but right, no. moshi moshi. Uh, you know what? Bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna check a. I'll check a, a mushroom at this boy. Absolutely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that's force damage. Force damage doesn't do anything to them, huh? We, we I don't think that. they've been hit by force damage yet. Oh, I just remember something about force damage. I don't think anyone hit him with force damage yet. Okay. Hey! Natural 20. Let's see what this fucking does. <clears throat> so is that total damage? or is that doubled? That's total. Or that's not doubled. Well, 18 not times doubled. 5 is also doubled, so it, 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 either way, it's 90 damage. Uh, plus 90? How do you want to kill him? Uh, I use his uh, shadowy body as, uh, like, soil for my spores, and they just start popping up all around Alora's feet. Don't step on my babies! I give her a cheeky smile. <laughs> and then that's... <laughs> Alright, Elora. 
Uh, well, Laura's a simple girl. We're going to do two hits of this guy minus five uh, for plus ten. All right. Both wet. Ignoring the necrotic, we got 36 plus 20. 56. How do you want to kill him? Um, I, I grab him by his incorporeal head and smash his face into the mushroom. All right. And with that, you guys finish up these echo wraiths without much of an issue. And you look back at Parker Von Horn, who's just sitting there rocking back and forth, smiling and laughing and saying, echo, 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 echo. I go up and grab a big slice of cheese and just shove it in his mouth. Oh, that's hey, hey, much better. Uh, traitor to your people and your kind. Are you going to let us out yet or what? I'm sorry. Uh, what's set in motion is already done. I, I can't reverse it. I, I feel wanting to help you, but I, I can't. I, I won't harm you any further. I promise you that. You you could travel through the portal, but it will harm you. I'm so sorry. Well, letting us fall to our deaths also will harm us, so how do you expect we get out of here? Then the only choice is to go through the portal. You'll take a little bit of uh, damage, but hopefully the effects will wear off slowly. As for where the portal is going to go to, it's kind of random. Insight check? Insight check. Uh, dude's had a change of heart for some strange reason. He doesn't want to harm you anymore, and he wants to help you. All right, well, what's the plan when we get to the other side of the portal? How are we going to... What are we going to meet back up? God, God damn it. This <laughs> is... Uh... I, I, I don't know. As, as soon as you somehow get to a portal that leads to the, the main area... Uh, that's when uh, you'll be able to teleport out of here. But this portal, where it leads to, I I think it might lead to another room. Another prison chamber. Uh, that's lovely. Uh, what about the shield guardians? Are they? Have you turned them against us as well? The shield guardians are not against you, no. They're currently deactivated, as... We're worried. We were worried uh, that Parker Van Horn would manipulate them somehow because he's the one who designed them. Beautiful. All right, Barry, put Parker in your cage. Wait, we are worried, Parker Van Horn. What? Wait, we were not talking to Parker Van Horn. You're talking to Bunty. Oh. I was to drop us out of the sky. Bunty is the guy who's trying to drop you guys out of the sky, but had a change of heart because of the divine intervention. Okay, this this makes okay. way more sense than Parker Van Horn saying all. Yeah, Parker oh. <laughs> is currently dumb dumb. He is very dumb dumb. He is feeble minded. He ain't saying Wait. shit. He went oh, back to being dumb dumb. Uh, yes, I feeble, I feeble minded him at the end of this last session. Oh, exactly. um, I thought that, I, for some reason I thought that was unsuccessful. Jesse, no, he he chose to fail. If, if people have my aura as they step through the door, will they get my plus five on their saves for whatever happened? I'd allow it. All right. I'll go through uh, last then. Jesse. Yes. The divine intervention did not work. No, the divine intervention did work. He has mm. a change of heart. He wants to help you. He doesn't want to harm you anymore. But he already said mm. shit in mode. That cannot be stopped. This bad boy's coming down whether you like it or not. I'm in umbral form. This means my squishy ass might survive going through the portal. Uh, <laughs> uh, hang on. Time out. I'm a little confused, Jesse. Can we sidebar for a quick sec? Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, Sporlina, I'm going to give you uh, 30 points of lay on hand. Ooh. Thank you. Oh my god, don't touch me. Your girlfriend's right there. Uh, I'll give Kalor, hey, I'll give you a pat on the shoulder and give you 19 points. Oh, thank you.
do 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 All right. Four. I did some healing while you guys were chatting. Okay, sounds good. Well, time is of the essence. What are you guys doing? I can... We're... Geronimoing through the portal. I'm going through last. Yep. I'm going through the portal before my umbral form wears off. Barry's got Parker in his chest, so hopefully they travel together. I'll go first. All right. I'm just looking. Reading, 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 reading. All right. Uh, safe for the DC. All right. So the portal automatically causes 3d6 psychic damage no save and roll a roll on the table determines the issue it doesn't say each effect lasts for it doesn't say it just says the save for each is 17 but it doesn't say wisdom let's go with wisdom fine wisdom yes wisdom it is uh plus five you are fine so you just take the 10 points of psychic damage and you go through. Who's next? Me. Cinna, you take 10 and you're going to do some stuff. Uh, Sporolina, you are good. You just take 10 points of damage. Kalor, you just take 10 points of damage. Uh, and then Elora. Uh, I believe the resistance would half that. Oh, yes, you're right. Good good call. Good call. Take that. All take right. half then. Um, Elora, go ahead. Bury the bone golem first. Bury the bone golem. All he's right, immune he's to psychic, but... <laughs> then, <laughs> don't worry about the psychic, but he did, is going to get a effect. Cool. And then Cinna and uh, Allura. Or Cinna, you already did it, so don't worry. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm just going to roll here. Cause... So, Parker. And Parker. Oof, that's a plus 12, 15. Not enough. All right, cool. So, that is going to be Allura, Cinna Moira, and Barry the Bone Golem. Uh, I'm gonna roll a d10. And we're gonna see what happens to y'all. A ten. A surging heat penetrates the bones of each creature passing through the portal. Each creature. Oh, that's where it is. Okay, cool. Uh, or will find themselves reduced in size by one classification, as in the reduce slash enlarge spell. For the <laughs> All right. So, uh, everyone takes that ten points of damage if you haven't already. Uh, Cinna <laughs> and Barry is now normal sized. <laughs> there we go. Oh, come on, Barry. Work with it. Is Parker Van Hoyt crushed as Barry ships in size? That's a good question. Let's see if Parker rolls. He rolled a two plus He's a also... lot. He's also small, so it works out. It worked out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So let me copy and paste you. So, that I mean, like a minus uh, D four to our attack. Oh my god! Uh, yes, so a minus D four. Cute. So first off, you guys all uh, rush through, and as you do, you come to an area where you can see is uh, looks like an underground tomb with a sarcophagi, sarcophagi, and a staircase leading up. You have no idea where you are, but it looks like you're in another uh, uh, area. And let's see. Uh, Don't worry, guys. I'll keep you safe. <laughs> Explain the... Yeah, uh, my ankles are in danger a lot. I stab you guys ankle. feel yourselves are actually floating now. You are underwater. And you are underground. And there is no air. And you are now holding your breath. Woo. What are you doing? Oh, we, well, it, this is, like, super easy for me. Because I cast water breathing. Can you speak underwater? I don't need to, Jesse. I have subtle cast on all of my druid spells. <laughs> <laughs> Balls. All right, fine. And Jesse, <laughs> if we're underwater, why are there braziers? Uh, I'm the one who made this. <laughs> oh, so, in Jesse's defense, I had no idea it was underwater. All right, so uh, yeah, it is underwater, and uh, da -da -da. okay, sweet. 
it is underwater. Uh, you are looking for the portal. And uh, the stairs upstairs, you see leading upstairs, which is a brick wall. And you are looking for uh, the way out. Perception, I guess, or investigation? Sure, investigation. Uh, if you want to oh. get close and personal to where. <laughs> Natural. Uh, I'm going to just start, like, kind of assuming uh, that, like, there's got to be, like, a button, basically. Like, button, button, who's got the button? Like, I'm just pressing all along the, like, the walls, uh, starting to, I'll start to, like, move the sarcophagus if I can. I guess they're probably fucking heavy, even underwater. But uh, just so looking to see if there's anything that's clearly an indent. Sure. So, first things first, uh, the things that you notice are on the sarcophagi. There's actually runes on the sarcophagi itself, and, uh, the, the big one, not the smaller ones. And you can see the runes on there look to be uh, uh, some sort of teleportation type magic. Uh, I have everybody come over to the thing by just like kind of, come on, waving at them. Uh, and who's our most arcana inclined friend? I pull that one over to the... Oh, he's the And be like, you have to give her a hoist up, though. I pick up little Cinna <laughs> and show her the symbols. You guys see a bulge of bubbles <laughs> come out as they, as the lids of the sarcophagi in the corner unravel, and you see coming out are three armored undead beings and they are swimming or walking very slowly towards you all and they have some scary ass weapons uh with that arcana check you would know Cinna that that has to do with a uh, a protective enchantment uh this thing is like locked and the only way to move it is either to dispel it or be really effing strong we're talking a dc uh 32 <sighs> Uh, We're going to roll oh. initiative. <laughs> I was going to say. Creepy dead people. Creepy dead people. All right. Good thing I rolled like poop. All right. Very. No. Cinemoira, tis your turn. Uh, are you muted, Cinna? I don't think we are hearing you anymore. Cinna. I was on fucking mute. God damn it. It's okay. We still love you. Uh, okay. I don't. I'm going to swim over and I'm going to do I have the ability to speak underwater right now or is that just for Sparlina? No, uh, we're just we're just miming. Yeah, you're miming. So if you have a spell that requires a verbal component, you cannot do it. God damn it. Sorry. I think that's everything. Probably. <laughs> Pro especially for a bard, yeah. Do you have a crossbow? Those work really well underwater. No, I've got a bow and arrow. Those don't work as well underwater. No, they don't. Okay, well, I guess I'll just stay put and hope for the best. Ready in action and hit him with a sword or something if you'd like. Yeah, I was going to say, if they get within melee range of me, I'll just hit him with my rapier and call it good. Uh, Sounds good. Not, not to be that guy, but good old JC says you can totally cast spells if you can breathe underwater. Damn it. <laughs> God damn okay. you, Jeremy Crawford. Okay. So, so can we you're or good. can we not? Yes, you're oh, good. You I'm can do good? it. Okay. I Jesus, you Christ. <laughs> Jesus Crawford. Oh my giddy aunt. Oh my yeah, giddy Christ. aunt. <laughs> oh, okay. Gosh. Well, I'll hit this first guy that's closest to me with some uh shit. I wasn't prepared. Give me a second. Fuck. 
Ah. Uh... We'll just him with the good old witch bolt. Okay. All right, 27 will absolutely hit. Uh, roll damage, please. And that is lightning damage. Uh, it is going to do half damage, but still do a decent amount. Uh, that is going to be... But is it going to do also double damage because he's in, going to surround him? All of you are going to get hit by that then. Oh, sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, man. No, I will just say only him. <laughs> All right. Anything else? And you're um, No, that's it. <laughs> All right. Uh, who has higher decks? Kalor, Sporlina, Kurtz, or the Rollies? Uh, uh, Rollies. Uh, I got a fourteen. Beat it. Oh. Just a d twenty. Just a d twenty. Oh. Then six. A uh, six. Sweet. Uh, in that case, Borlin will go next, and Kayla will go last. Sweet. All right. This guy's going to go first as he is going to swim and rush up, and he's heavy, really heavy in his armor. It looks really thick, uh, and he is going to roll a d20 twice. These are plus uh, 13s. Uh, that is a 5 plus 13 is tw uh, 18, and then a 28. Question. Yes. Underwater melee combat generally has disadvantage to attack, which would mean then... us too, but I just wanted to... Oh, I like it. I like it. And so that is... Both of them will miss, unless you have a 19 AC, which I don't think you do. I have a 20. Good. All right. So he misses, misses. And Sporlina. Uh, Sporlina is like, oh, I me no likey. And I am <clears throat> going to fondle the the sarcophagus gently and try to dispel the magic that is keeping it shut. Uh, and I guess I'll do that. Let's do it at fourth level. I'm going to have to roll fourth anyway, I'm sure. But All right, fourth level as you do it. And unlocks. Or oh, the magic shit. dissipates. Uh, okay. Uh, the magic dissipates, so it looks like it can get opened now, correct? The runes have, like, died down. The the lighting of the runes just like... Okay. Uh, I am... <laughs> Unfortunately, all of our really strong people are now a size smaller than they should be. So, that's a bummer. But I'm going to kind of look at everyone in, like, mime trying to open the sarcophagus, even though I can't because that was my action. Okay. Curtsy boy. Hey, Jesse, what's their challenge rating? What's their challenge rating? High. Yeah. It's, uh, uh, like, a eight. If you're trying to do a turn undead or destroy yeah. undead. Well, I'm still gonna try it anyway. Turn and then can be helpful. Yeah, uh, I need a wisdom saving throw from our, wait. Five, ten. I need a wisdom saving throw <laughs> from all three. All right, these are plus zeros. Nineteen. Woo. One saves. Okay. And just for the, anybody in the stream, both Barry and I are immune to turn undead. Oh God, I forgot that. Whoopsie. I didn't uh, even think about it. <laughs> yeah. As long as he's in my aura, I should. Turn for one minute. Uh, CR is four or below, but no dice. So they are just... Spend my their turns trying to move as far away from me as they can. And it yeah, can't this willingly... isn't just frightened. This is... This is yeah, run the fuck away. And cannot willingly move to a space within 30 feet of me. And they can't bitch. attack. Or they have or to use their reaction. action to run away. Mm -hmm. And it can't use its reactions. Beautiful. Suck so on that. That's it. They're not immune to frightened. Bummer. All right, Kaylor. Uh, alrighty. So I am going to uh, not get an attack of opportunity on me. I don't think I'm 
in my umbral form because I'm assuming it's been more than a minute since I cast it. They cannot take reaction, so you totally could get out. I would say you still have your umbral, umbral form, but it will only last like one or two more rounds. All right. Um, uh, I'm going to go hang out next to my friends, and then I am going to, uh, since I have a, way, still have way too many non-higher spell necrotic damages, I'm just going to use these good old bracers and double fire bolt him. Which one? Uh, the one, right, wait, this one's the one that's running away, though, wait, or is it, or is it both of the hearts? Both of the hearts are running away. Okay. Uh, in that case, well, let me double check this real fast. 55? Yeah, that's 55. well within range. Yeah. We're gonna firebolt, and then we're gonna firebolt again. Ooh, the first one's at 20. I'm assuming that damage. That they are resistant. Uh, that definitely is, yeah. Uh, and that is going to be 10 plus 26, so 36. All right, beautiful. Anything else? All right. That is it. Bury the bone golem. Bury, 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 bury. Does hitting these things remove your turn undead, or is it just for a minute? Kurt. Hmm? Does hitting One these minute. things end the turn undead? One minute. Okay, so they're they are just turned for a minute. Mm-hmm. Cool. Alright. Uh well, yeah, the problem is is that everybody that's reduced has disadvantage on strength checks. So it's not gonna be very helpful, and Barry isn't actually weaker than I am. Um Fuck it. We're going to try a grapple with this skeleton real quick. It'll be a disadvantage for me. Nope. There we go. Don't even bother rolling. <laughs> All right. We'll just do three more slam attacks on this guy. I don't know how he... Actually, hold on. Actually, hold on. Never mind. Uh, we're going to do... Barry was here. So... And we're going to do an Absorb Bones. Uh, they all need to make a con save. All right. These, this is uh, plus seven. Ooh. That's Man, awesome. they all save. Uh, they're going to take half damage. So they take Oof. 11 damage, and I heal up. Uh, I'll have to check at some point to see if I think 200 is my max hit points right now. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm sure that these guys. Let me just do this here really quick. I have eight off, so I have three. Bonus action. I'm going to give. Oh wow. Okay. 26. I'm gonna give Kurtz and. Elora and I guess uh I guess Sporlina uh bone covers and so you all get um twenty nine temporary hit sick. Go ahead and add it to your blue and uh it'll just be easier to keep track of. How much do you say? Uh, they each got 29. Okay. There you go. All right. Anything else? Laura, it's your turn. Lord, I can do this, guys. Um, these guys are turned. So, yeah, I guess I'll try and open up the coffin. I'm such a baby. That's all they can do. Here's my action to attempt to lift the coffin can i do it twice for two attacks uh it's a check it's a check so okay no. fine uh athletics mm -hmm. all right it's a disadvantage all right try as you might the dc was a 10 
and you open it without a problem. <laughs> I was like, nice. I can <laughs> and as you open it, you can see the swirling mist that is the portal itself underneath the legs of this creature that emerges and was holding its action. And I'm going to need God damn it. everyone who is uh, right by the sarcophagi, that is Kalor, Cinemoira, and Sporlina and Laura to make a con save. Uh, just a quick question. Yes. Can that, could that bad boy have heard me through the sarcophagus? Is it a hearing thing or is it a seeing it thing? Both. Really? Yes, it is. You're in water. He was in a sarcophagus. It's pretty quiet down there. I'm going to roll a d100. We're going to put a 50 50 shot. Above 50, he heard you. Lucky he did not hear else. you. <laughs> All right. Uh, those of you, I think only Cinna, you have plus five, so that it's going to be you. Uh, as the cold just emanates from this individual's body, uh, as he releases some sort of a magical effect that releases ice crystals that just whoosh, come out from him. Uh, Senna, you take 24 points of damage. Bo uh, the rest of you take 12 points of cold damage uh, as he is coming out and standing up, the portal swirling inside uh, the, the uh, sarcophagus right here. And I'm going to add a wee little thing to depict it. Um, does, that, does the umbral form still count? Because I thought we were saying that was until the next turn. Where is correct, that? Correct, yeah, so you take half damage or quarter damage. Okay, so okay, so it's down to six then. But, yep, exactly. All right, all right, all right, and he rolled an eighteen, so we're gonna just keep him in there. And who is next? So, Laura, anything else? Uh, I have a bonus action. Uh, first, Kalor, you don't have the twenty-nine temporary hit points, just FYI. I, I know. Oh, okay, um, cool. I should be showing eighty-nine, but for some reason it didn't update from ninety-five when I just did the last bits of damage. But it is showing it on D and D Beyond. Sweet. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 bonus actions going to my spells. Doo -doo. Um. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast Spirit Shroud. All right, and what does that do? Never mind, it doesn't do what I thought it did. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cast a spell on my sword, a smite, uh, for my next round, and that'll be that. All right. Uh, I should also mention, as you guys uh, opened up the sarcophagus, another body begins floating out. Floating. It is human, and it floats up to the ceiling and just bleep. The person is obviously dead. Whoever they were, we don't know anymore. Uh, all right, and that is this guy's turn. Uh, he can only move away, is that right? Yes. Once he is out of your, your turn undead, what can he do? Uh, he uses his action to get out, so that regardless of how fast he Got it. gets out. All right. And then this guy is unaffected, and he is going to step forward like a badass that he is, and is going to hit Barry. Uh, this is, uh, what is it? Plus 13, hit twice, uh, 24, oh, and 30. Beauteous. So this is magical slashing. So 19 plus 12. And then psychic damage, as these are. He is immune to psychic. And never mind then. So 19 plus 12 is 32. 31. Yep. Cinemoira. This big old baddie is right in front of you. What are you doing? You're yeah. still locked in on Witch Bolt on this guy. I was going to say, I think they have to continue Witch Bolt. Uh, I I am allowing you to switch targets with Witch Bolt because not being able to switch targets and with with which with, with Witch Bolt makes them it's I don't like it so you can switch targets if you like. Okay, well I would like to gladly switch it to the big baddie right there in front of me. All right, send it. Okay. 
do I hit the damage again yeah, or what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. Do it, do it. Oh, dear lord. That requires me going back so far. Uh, can you roll to hit? It's a concentration spell? Yeah, you'll you'll be able to do it without casting another spell. Uh, so long thing, if you want to switch it, you have oh. to hit him. Yeah, you gotta you gotta hit him and lock I, on to him. Do I have to though? Yes. Unless you want to attack the other guy. Uh, yeah, unless you want to keep it on this guy, and deliver that forty to this guy without even worrying about it. I guess I'll switch it. One All right, second. switch it. I'll keep that forty points of damage because it's a good roll. Twenty-eight will hit. It's going to hit him. It's locking on, and he's going to take a whopping twenty points of damage. Beautiful. Anything else? I would like to give Barry some bardic inspiration. Barry. <laughs> all right. Barry has the bardic inspiration. Anything else? That's all. All right. This guy, he sees you. He's upset that you just attacked him. He's not going to suffer you. And he is going to attack uh, twice. And this is a plus 15 to each attack, Senna. So, with this advantage, because he's underwater. And so, 15, so that is uh, 18 and uh, 22. 18 meets. The, both of them will hit. All right, beauteous. Unless you have and shield. Do you have a shield? Second level spell. I am a bard. Well... You have a paladin spell. Yeah, you have magical secrets. Uh, all right, so that is going to be 20 plus 19 plus nine plus seven. Uh, the 20 and the 19 are magical slashing. The nine and the seven are psychic damage. It's 55 point. All right, Kalor. All right. Well. I hope I'm not overestimating this as being one of the harder fights for this session. Because I'm, I'm going to blow my big spell, I think. Do it. All right. We, I'm casting Spear of Ultimate Destruction. Woo! Uh, 120 right. feet. As so, you all get sucked in. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Any creature that ends its turn within five feet of the sphere. So where are you putting the sphere? I am putting the spear right here. Because I have to start it where a creature isn't. Oh, wait. it's Now it's showing. All right. So right here. So it's going to get both this guy well, and this guy. So, well, no, it's um, it's a five-foot diameter sphere. So basically it occupies a space like a person does. Sure. So, yeah, if you put it so, here, you can get two of them at the same time. Wait. But it's five-foot diameter, not five-foot so yeah, the... but I can move it. So it's um, so so what I'm going to do is all right. So it's an action to move it, right? There you go. Which is why yeah yeah always wait. Let me make sure I got this right. Um, fear appears. Where's the part where it says it's an action? Um, yeah, as an action. So i am that's why I always always spend the points to fast cast this <laughs> there you go that's a good call so um <laughs> this is then as an action getting moved to here it uses five, 10 feet instead of five feet because it's moving through a person or object so it's going to deal okay. the damage to him and then five more feet and then 10 more feet to move it onto this guy got oh, it nice <laughs> all right uh, and then so you have, dexterity save? Do you have five feet left after that? It's got 30 feet. You can move it back to the where it's between them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'll, I'll move it right back there. And, yeah. So that's force damage. And here comes the damage Yeah, it's rolls. a saving throw against the man. And what is the saving throw? It is... Doesn't matter. They failed. <laughs> it's a dex save. Yeah, they failed. Okay. Um, here comes the big guy. How would you like to kill them? <laughs> this is, um, you ever see those scenes in DBZ where the big power orb hits <laughs> someone and they slowly start disintegrating from the edges of the power orb? I it's like exactly that, but with <laughs> an obliteratingly white light, it's an obliteratingly black light. 
<laughs> does say magic items are not affected by this. So are, does anything, once they turn to dust, anything float attached up to the... Attached to the sphere? <laughs> it's probably mm -hmm. attached to the sphere, just like held there until he drops the spell. Uh, yeah, I would definitely say there's uh, some things there. Uh, I have to figure out what they are, but let me look at the page <laughs> and I'll get back to you. But Lovely. it is attached to the spear, so if you want to touch it, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> Anything else? That is it. I am concentrating on that spell. <laughs> All right. Put a orange token on you, and Kurtz, it is your turn. Huh. Okay. Um. <laughs> Shit. Don't know what to do now. Oh, I know what to do. I'm attacking this boy. We've seen okay. him get turned. Seventeen rig. Uh, radiant roll an extra two d six. Ooh, fancy. All right, seven to seventeen, twenty four plus twenty four. How do you want to kill him? Oh, um, we undead is encased in holy light and disintegrates as much as someone can underwater. Beautiful. And roll a wisdom save. Uh, you are good. You do not take half damage from the reflection. Anything else? Uh, run and jump in the portal. Run and jump in the portal. You're just swimming and just jumping and going for no. it. <laughs> get up right on the edge get right on the edge i forgot this okay. guy probably yeah. stay away from that <laughs> yeah yeah yes all right spoilina you see this swirling sphere of annihilation um wow we're not compensating for anything are we Kaylor? <laughs> uh <laughs> uh Sporlita is going to uh, continue looking through the sarcophagus and trying to figure out the way we get the fuck out of here. It looks like a portal. Jump through. That's it. Uh, Sporlita is just going to point to the portal and wave goodbye and swim into the hole. <laughs> Peace. All right. You're gone. I'll cover you in a second. Uh... Yeah. This guy, he is outside. Oh, nope, he's dead. Never mind. Barry. Barry, 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 Barry. Barry will run back over here, and Alora will give him a nod, and he's going to grab that floating body that floated above the sarcophagus and then go into the portal with him. All right. And I'll cover you when you get there, Alora. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, just swim around the orb and, uh, I'm going to end next to Kurtz as I will be the last with Kurtz to get out of here. I will say to Kaylor, uh, when you're ready to go, uh, I'll grab, the... you know what? <laughs> put you go portal. <laughs> Black ball, go, 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 me grab thing. You see him point to the baubles on the black sphere. We're all going to spend our next long break talking about hand signals. <laughs> <laughs> American Sign Language. Uh, all right. So that was Alora's thing. Uh, so this guy's out of your sphere, Kurtz. So can he, like, shoot you from afar? Uh, he has to spend his term getting as far away from me as he can. But he's outside of your 30 feet, isn't he? He has to spend his turn getting as far away from me as he can. The 30, he just can't move back. It's it's for a, a minute. Foot. It's literally just. Yeah. He just runs for a minute. How do you guys want to wrap up this battle? Because it's just going to get wrapped up. Sina, you want to send a witch bolt to this guy? Sure. All right. How would you like to kill him? We're not even going to, we're not going to bother. He's He's not doing anything. So just. Send um, it and kill him. I'm I'm gonna it's gonna be more of a mercy kill at this point. <laughs> point sorry. <laughs> um because he's cowering in a corner at this point. 
point, so it's just going to be a mercy kill of, like, I just do a finger gun at him, and it just disintegrates him. He turns into ash, but it kindly dissolves very quickly in the water. I jump into the portal, and I'm I'm out. Stenna, the fact that you're hiccuping is fucking hilarious. Thanks. Uh, at least also, finds uh, it amusing. Just I'm just happy I'm not, like, it's, it's not a violent hiccup. Thank God. Sounds pretty violent. It's it's not. Thank God. All right. Uh, what were you saying, Kurtz? Uh, if there's nowhere to move, the creature can use the dodge action. Got it. It's using the dodge action, but it's dead. It's gone. It's exploded. It is. I'm not. Not to worry. Survive. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Scalar. I assume you drop um, the uh, sphere I, of annihilation. I am going to. Before I do, I want to do an experiment, and I want to try moving the sphere of annihilation like part way through the wall. Our way through the wall. Mm -hmm. All right. As you try to move it through the wall, uh, you're in an extra dimensional space. How would that even work? <laughs> uh, the the creature and everything is wearing da -da 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 -da. Uh, fine gray dust creatures. Da -da -da -da. When you move the sphere, it flies. Da -da -da -da. Uh, held, carried. If the rain is here, it's huge, larger. Magical force. It has an effect on magical force. An object. Uh, Whenever you ram the sphere into a creature or object, 10 feet of move speed for uh, and an object creatures. Okay. I have no idea how this would work. <laughs> so far, My I can answer... tell it basically annihilates everything that's not a magical object. All right. The edge of this wall is magical, so I feel like it would bend, but it wouldn't break. And you'd see, like, it start to bend. All right. And, and, but it wouldn't be able to, so to I, shatter. I, I, I see it starting to... Like resist the magical force and crackle or whatever. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I'm just. I'm gonna be like, well, that didn't work. I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> All right. You drop it and you hear a cling, 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 as something falls to the ground. Pick it up. Let's go. Yeah. What? What, what am I picking up? <laughs> uh, it looks like a, a chained necklace uh, with a jewel on it. Cool. This totally won't curse me later. All right, so uh, everyone, uh, well, first, everyone's going to take 3d6 psychic damage. So let me roll that. This is 13. Everyone takes 13 points of psychic damage unless you have half for whatever reason. Kaylor, your thing is gone, so you take full 13 points of psychic. Uh, remember that you guys have the blue temporary hit points, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then... Did Sporlina disappear? Oh, no, Barry was just on top of me. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Oh, I don't want to re-roll that. Let's do another one. A nine! An eerie glow paints the form of each creature passing through the portal. Each creature must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Oh, this is funny. Oh, this is really gr Oh, my God. All right, uh, everyone, make your wisdom saves, please, after I, you take the damage. I was within... Uh, the 30 feet of everyone when they went in. Yes, oh, so fuck I, off. This is so much fun. Oh no. Hey, good job, Barry. Barry! I'm so proud of you, Barry! 18, that's still an 18. I, I don't remember what the DC was. 17, so oh, it's just Cinna and Kurtz. Uh, all right, Cinna, Kurtz, uh, go you ahead. poor bastard. Go ahead and give me a D4, please. What? Uh, all right, I'm going to re-do... I'm just re-upping... You guys getting rid of uh, this. Into the normal size again. So far. Which, which bolt is still active, Cinna, by the way? You still have Witch Bolt, so I'm keeping it like oh, that. I don't um, like that. And it's going to last until you lose concentration or until it ends. Uh, all right. You now appear to be in some sort of a really, really cluttered as fuck potion area. Except, Why the fuck are we here? Except is it underwater? <laughs> you look up and you can see the floor and you are on a vaulted ceiling. And at your feet 
are puddles and puddles and puddles of potion juice and other things and liquids all around you. Potion juice and, was my nickname in high school. And occasionally you hear a as another one falls for whatever reason, as you feel more vibrations throughout the entire uh, construct uh, shake around and the potions begin to collapse and fall. You see uh, some individuals that are um, uh, nearby uh, just tr trying to figure out, like, uh, and they, they seem to be going through a motion, like, uh, experimenting with different uh, potions and pouring them into each other and watching what the hell is happening as uh, the one individual just looks to the female and just goes, no, not again, don't do this. As the female goes, no, no, I, I think it can work. I really do. I've been testing it. And, and as she pours it, you guys see a flash of light and she disintegrates and you see the man begin to cry. Oh my God, we're getting transported to prisons. <gasps> Are we getting transported to prisons over and over again? Like we're watching what, like what was up with Boy Wonder? Are these technically wraiths? Uh, as for your companions, you see your companions next to you. Uh, as for Kurtz, where Kurtz was, you see <laughs> uh, an elephant. Kurtz, you are an elephant. An elephant in a potion shop. Why can't you go wrong? In a potion shop. <laughs> and as for Cinna, you are. Uh, squirrel, 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 squirrel. I just feel like Cinna would be a perfect squirrel. You are a hunter shark? Fuck. Okay. okay. That was so funny, Cinna. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, so Me yeah, you're a, I can't control this. You're a hunter shark. Go ahead and look up your statistics on D&D Beyond. Hunter shark and an elephant okay. for Kurtz and Cinna. Uh, you guys have been polymorphed by the polymorph uh, spell, in essence, when you went through the portal. That was the portal's effect. On top of that, Cinna, your speed is zero, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and you guys are surrounded by fallen potions and puddles and shit, as this individual is just crying and crying and crying as you see uh coming through the door uh and it looks like they were floating uh you see other individuals uh walk through the door and they just say um uh we're here uh, to help you research what what happened what is this what did you do to her where is she as you see other researchers come in and confront this individual who is crying uh and in essence, he is reliving the moment where he uh, feels the most guilt. Anywho, what are you guys doing? Um, I'm flopping around like a fish. Quite literally, because uh, Seta can't breathe because she's out of water. I'm dying. Uh, <laughs> I... <laughs> do we start killing Can I, can I uh, do a, ch uh, a channel, not channel divinity, whatever the other one is, that to see if these three people that just walked in are actually like undead echo wraith type thing? Divine sense. Thank you. Sure. Divine sense. Yeah, absolutely. As you do, 100%. Including the disintegrated person. Even though they seem to have disappeared, there's still another echo wraith there. <laughs> I am so sorry I if the hiccups get bad. Just, just so let me hard know. tonight, and I would like the credit. Uh, Torbanes, do any of you recognize this man? History check. <laughs> I don't know. I, make I can't check. say anything. I'm a fucking shark. That's <laughs> true. Say, so it's just Kalor. It's <laughs> just Kalor who can do it. <laughs> well, soon you'll suffocate and turn back into. Wait. So it's I just me like that can this. what, like, the insight? <laughs> or communicate? Or, history, uh, history, 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 history. Okay, um, well, I am, uh, okay. Come on, plus one, do your magic! <laughs> that was a good roll. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> that's 16. You recognize that this is, uh, uh, Ellis Windan, uh, a famous alchemist who is known for kind of, like, his hoarding mentality of potions and he would make a potion 
and have no idea what it even did and just put it up on the shelf just to be just because he had a lover that uh shared his passion of potion making and alchemy who uh they were experimenting in some very volatile things they were warned many times not to work on them uh and there is actually an ordinance because he was causing a ruckus in the uh, nearby area uh with his potion making and people were getting like faulty products uh and finally uh some other alchemists decided to band together and try to stop him uh but it was too late by the time they showed up and his lover had been disintegrated in front of his eyes and then he was arrested for her murder because of his negligence oh yeah it's it's, it's the negligent quarter magic guy you know the guy at the potions oh um, uh, but wait why anyways. are we seeing this i am very confused he was arrested and sent to prison but why are we seeing this? Are these time traveling portals? Are we inside his mind? And what his, does this his, have to do with Parker it, Van Horde? It's his prison, bro like, Kaylor. Like we're trying traveling between the prison set. Yes, we're stuck like, in the. We're as still I as I hold up the dead guy, I was like, this what this guy for some reason was in that that underwater temple area. That that was his right. prison. You hear a what? jingle jingle as he as Barry holds him up. <laughs> You, you you mean that this is some kind of cruel and unusual punishment prison? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, not for Parker. He seemed to enjoy his little crimes being uh, shown to him over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, uh, we're gonna go. What what's this gentleman's name, Kalor? Um, what, what was the name again? Elis Windam. Elis Windam. Hey, Windem, you're in your mind here. Those things, they're, they're not your friends. They're not your colleagues. They're your guards. He is so distraught. He, he's just not responding right now. And he looks up at you, eyes just completely in tears. Sorry, are you? Do you see that we're on the ceiling of this? And you are it's on the down? ceiling. All of you are on the ceiling. And they're on the ground. Nope, they are, they are on the ceiling, and these two guards or other alchemists come in, and they kind of floated down uh, to the ceiling. Okay. Gravity is reversed, in essence. Okay, 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 okay. Um... You guys are about 30 feet away, and again, occasionally you feel that rumble from the actual prison that's falling, and like the uh, mechanisms are starting to fail, and each rumble sends more and more potions uh, Did... down. Did, when they opened up the door to come in, did it look like there was a portal behind the door? Uh, there are two doors, and there wasn't one that you saw behind this door. Cool. Yeah, Sporlina, you have, you can spider climb, right? Yeah, Sporlina. Full mushroom spider zip. All right, mushroom spider. Up to the door, it's about 30 feet up. Kick that bitch open. As you open it, you see a fancy old portal, and everyone roll a d100 as a uh, number, another rumble occurs, and the potions begin to fall. Anything above a 90 is going to get Any a 10% chance. Too. Yes, please. Wow, you guys are skirting that 90. Um, unless I miss something, one of our friends is still a shark. Yes, indeed. Cinemora uh, is still a shark, and Kurtz is a elephant. All right, elephant, roll again, just because you're bigger. Oh, you have on. disadvantage on fair. your on your chance to. You're fine. All right, all the potions, like a few of them, like psh, 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 they fall and shatter. And uh, yeah, Sporlini, you're looking at the portal in uh, front of you. What are you doing? Uh. Oh. Wait, okay. is she got? First, or because I, I would like to do something about our shark friend. Sure. Uh, I, I would like to go over to our shark friend and cast. Oh God, where's the fart spell? Help fart me! Spell. <laughs> fart spell. Uh, where is it? <laughs> yeah. I, I I come over to you and I touch you and I cast gaseous form. <laughs> would you rather be a fart than a shark? Yes! <laughs> the obnoxious flopping increase, increases with the yes! 
<laughs> uh, is this the one that takes a minute for you to turn? No. It it's, better not! It, it, it's one action, it's concentration, it lasts for an hour, she has a movement speed of 10 feet flying. Gotcha. You are now a misty form, Cinemora. Woo, I'm still gonna hiccup, but... My ass is jumped Ooh. through the yeah, floral. Barry and I uh, attempt to lift the elephant and throw it through the portal. Alright, so first, who's going first? Sporlina is. Alright, Sporlina, as soon as you go through, you guys watch as the uh, echo wraiths in the uh, frame of these alchemists turn and go and sh and sh uh, shift towards you. So we're going to keep initiative order. So Sporlina, you're we already gone. We can't see initiative order. Just a I can see it, so that's alright. Uh, and I'm just going to roll one, two, three to get a really quick initiative. You guys are welcome to just rush through. Uh, running, running, running. Running, running, running. Run through the portal. Lady, basically, as she's about to go through the portal, she's like, guys, this place is coming down, and it's coming down with us in it. We gotta go. Cinna, you are a hunter shark. Uh, nope, you are a cloud of mist. You have 10 feet of movement speed. It is 30 I'm... feet up. What are you doing? I'm going as fast as my little fart body can. You are now 20 feet up as you dashed. Anything else? I would like to do it again. You can, I mean, that's it. So, oh, Sina, your like... fart cloud is 20 feet up. Sporlina, you are already gone and through. I'll cover you in a second. Kurtz, you are a elephant. I try to get through the portal? Uh, how do you climb or fly? I jump? <laughs> yeah, no, not happening. <laughs> what are you talking about? Elephants can totally jump. Nah! So. <laughs> I've seen them. They're pretty, they're pretty live. Yeah, sure. I, I have no idea. I I can't do shit. <laughs> an elephant, man. All right. Uh, I guess we'll just skip At your turn for now. At least you weren't dying being in the air. Kaylor, what are you doing? Um... I'm assuming it's not naturally dark enough for me to go into flying mode. No, yeah, it's bright. It, everything is bright as well. Okay, I am going to sorcery point cast darkness on myself so that I can see through the darkness and then fly in the sphere of darkness. All that's right. moving with me. Sounds good. You fly with it. And yep. what's your fly speed? It is 30 feet. You get up right to the part portal. All right. All right, bury the bone golem. Uh, no, it's this way. Oh, wait, it's the oh, it's this door. Okay, yep. gotcha. Barry's gonna move to the base, uh, and then he is going to hold his action to hoist the elephant up. Did the elephant move on your turn? Thirty feet below the door. Okay, Fair so enough. you're over here, and then. Um, Thanks. I'm looking up. Elephants can jump. The already can't. did it. <laughs> Um, okay, so he is going to he is going to give uh, give a boost to the elephant to try and get the elephant. Barry? Yeah. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, how much? I'd put a DC on of this on a thir uh, twenty. How about a twenty? That sounds uh, legit. In that case, he's gonna hold his action to uh, to do it with Alora. And Alora will do the check. All right, sounds good. Um, and then da, 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 Echo Raids. All right, we already know they can't be paralyzed. That will do it for Barry. All right, this creature is going to rush forward, and it sees uh, this big ass elephant, and it is going to take a potion and splash it onto the elephant itself. Uh, for a 14 plus 10, 24, definitely gonna hit. Uh, elephant, roll a d100. Hurts the apple. High is bad. Ah, shit. All right, 64. Uh, you suffer the inflict wounds spell at fifth level. So that is 5d12. 31 points of necrotic damage. How much health does it have? 76 is an elephant. He is fine. Plus, 
psychic damage. Eight points of psychic damage. All right. That was that dude's turn. Now this dude's turn. It's going to take, uh, probably go to the hunter shark. And, uh, I'm a fart. You are a and fart 20 feet here. above. Yes. Yeah, so it's going after the elephant. Goes to whack. It's a plus 10, 14 to hit the elephant. Oh, yeah. Elephant. Roll a D100. Weak sauce. They're actually criminally underpowered. Oh, fuck me. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no. Fun time. The Disintegrate Potion. Do you have oh, no. less than 100 hit points? I do. You die as an elephant. Do you die in real life? No, because it's polymorph. This is yeah, Finger it's... of Death. It's polymorph. I know. Well, here's the weird thing. Elephant, not 100 hit points. Kurt's Yes, 100 hit points. I... Hold on. Let's see. Well, let's see what Polymorph does. Uh, wait, did I say figure of that? I meant power word kill. That's what I meant. Sorry. So, let's see. Uh, power word kill on polymorphed creature. Does it carry over? You utter a word of power. If the creature you choose... I know that. Okay, cool. It's cast on a polymorph creature. Uh, I thought it was polymorph, actually. <laughs> Maybe. A creature that has died can't regain hit points. Uh, when the creature returns to its original form, but remains dead and unable to gain any hit points, it just sound like a broken combo, but it will spend your valuable ninth level spell slot. Uh, yada yada. That's just a, an opinion of some nerd. Um, all right, cool. Well. What just happened? They're transformed back into Kurtz, but kill. Uh, did roll 20 just, like, bog out for anyone else? No. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna reload. Because roll 20 just fucking went in psycho. I think uh, that was it telling you that you did Kurtz, you're dead. Hooray. That's kind of cheese. <laughs> if you can find a better explanation... No, I, I've looked this up a couple different times. I'm pretty sure that's... All right. It's Kurt. it's a the like the one way you can really fuck with uh, high level players is to polymorph them and then. And fucking I didn't even recall. know that. That's quick good question. to know. Quick that question. Like arsenal. Yes. I thought that the wraiths had only turned on us because of uh, Bundy, and then Bundy was chained. So should the wraiths still be trying to kill us? Let me read the section that says. Uh, once the players, uh, if the players attempt to move Parker without affixing the amulet to him, they will find themselves under attack by the Echo Wraiths. Uh, the amulets are what helps protect you from the Echo Wraiths when you move through the portal. If your amulets have been, uh, disconnected or not, uh, uh, turned on correctly, the Wraiths will attack you when you try to pass through the portal. When Sporolina passed through the portal, the Echo Wraiths saw that, that you weren't supposed to go through the so, portal, and thus they attacked. Bundy turned off our necklaces and didn't, couldn't turn them back on. Gotcha. That son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Kurtz, you did. Uh, Elora. All right, Elora's gonna run up, and we're gonna. Uh, I guess we don't need to hoist the fucking. Dude, it's not an elephant. Elephant it's now there. A corpse. Right. <laughs> it's now a Kurtz of corpse. Um, in that case, Barry shouldn't need to make a roll to lift. Kurtz up. So if Barry lifts Kurtz up into the portal, is that all right? 30 feet up. Can he reach? He's got a 15 foot reach and he's 15 feet tall. Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. Uh, just he, He's going to alley oop him into the portal. <laughs> um, and then. That's going to be terrifying for Sporolina since she's already <laughs> through. She has no idea what's happening. Every, everybody's true. through except for Barry and Elora. And me. I mean, you and you're you're a fart. You're you'll farts. be you'll be through in a second, right? Yep, I should be. Oh, all right. Um, also, if the <laughs> hiccuping bothers anyone, just let me know and I'll mute. I fucking love it. All right, I'm gonna uh, run up Barry's arm as he's alley ooping uh, Kurtz, and uh, jump towards the portal. And as I do, 
I'm going to cast Knight's Move and allow Barry to use his reaction to teleport 30 feet to an unoccupied space, and that's going to be in the door. All right. Beauteous. At the top of the round, it is just Cinna, who has not left, and this individual is going to uh, throw a potion at the mist. Does it even bother you? I don't think it would. I'm I'm not a solid object. Yeah, it, it, it you won't it won't splatter. So cool. Uh, although the wraiths probably have a flying speed. They, they already, flying you already speed. threw it. You already started through. <laughs> fine, fine. In that case, the wraith is going to come up and make a second <laughs> attack and try to attack you with a plus thirteen with a twenty six. Twenty six will hit, and you're going to take. You have uh, uh, resistance to damage, I assume, wire of ghost. This plus three six. Uh, you have resistance to damage, so that is uh, thirty seven halved is uh, 18, eighteen, right? Yeah. You take eighteen points of damage. Damage. It is now your oh. turn. You fly your butt through, and you get through. All right. Can AI Photoshop Barry and Kurtz into this? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to do it in a second. Uh, all right. So now, everyone, <laughs> please take 3d6 psychic damage, 12 points of psychic. Let me delete these guys really quick and copy and paste you all. Copy. So am I dead dead or do I have to make death saving throws? You're no, dead. you're dead dead. Cool. It's a new one. I mean... It's easier to reverse than disintegrate. Yeah, now I have to find my old notebook to I upgrade my death spores. Yeah, do Senna, do you have revivify? Or I guess no, but I can learn it. It's Sporlina. As long, yes. As long awesome. as we drag the body somewhere, Ooh. I can. If we if we take a rest, I can get out. I also have true resurrection. Sporlina drops to the other side. Just a, a body of courage just comes flinging through the portal. <laughs> Yeah, well, first, so um, just looks at him and she goes, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> a mood altering yeah. madness impacts every creature passing through the portal. Each creature must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become violently enraged as if in the crown of madness spell with their movements. And what attacks if I'm controlled... already? <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're the other effect ends as soon as you go through the portal. So don't you worry about that. Oh, no. Senna, but I'm just saying... what? The fuck is going you just on? What not... if I'm already upset, Jesse? What if I'm already upset? <laughs> oh boy. Uh so, Laura, do you have a plus five or no? Uh not for my twenty-four, but for that fourteen that's actually Barry's wisdom save oh, is the same negative one. I just hit initiative. Oh back. no. So it's nineteen. Oh no. Oh, okay, it's nineteen. Okay, it's fine. Uh all right. Cinna. You very much yeah. enter a rage as if the Crown of Madness spell, which I need to look up the spell. You don't have to. I'll pull it up on my own. She just starts oh, stabbing God. her brother's dead body. Yeah, kind of. Pretty much. Stop. Stop. Crown He's, of already madness. Dead. <laughs> He's already dead. Crown of Madness. Crown of Madness. I don't care. What you made of your choice that you can see within range. Uh, while the target is charmed in this way, a twisted crown of jagged iron appears on its head and a madness glows in its eyes. The charmed target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. The target can act normally on its turn if you choose no creature or if none are within its reach. On your subsequent turns, you must use your action to maintain control over the target or the spell ends. Also, the target can make a wisdom saving throw at the end of each of its turn. All right. I'm going to choose the dead body since it's already out of hit points. Uh, no, it's who I choose. You're going to attack Kalor. No. Uh, I'm going to attack it says. Uh, with their movements and attacks controlled by GM discretion. You're no. attacking Kalor. Go ahead and take your rapier and stab Wait. Kalor. Real fast. Uh, since uh, I am there and then uh, the body of Kurtz rolls in, can I uh, tap 
Kurtz for Revivify, just so I know he's going to be okay, and then swoop him into a bag of holding. Do you have a uh, diamond or 300 gold pieces? Oh, yeah, baby. All right. No, he wants all the things. Uh, Kurt, you feel yourself being revivified with two points of exhaustion. Woo! With that dagger attack. I said rapier, by the way. Uh, I heard dagger. I definitely said rapier. Oh, I heard dagger. Do you want me to redo it? Yes, please, because the the dagger didn't hit. Oh, the gut balls. All right, fine. (laughs) Like I said, I'm not choosing my brother that's alive right now. If it Make was a wisdom to save. Because it's the end of your turn. As Kalor, you feel uh, the rapier like go right through your cloak as you look behind you, and your sister is trying to stab you through it. And just as Alora comes through, uh, her aura brings you to a 21, and the, the crown dissipates, and you are no longer under the effects. You guys look and see around you. You are in... This could be a cozy hut. At least this one room that you're currently in. If it wasn't moldy, covered in just sinew, uh, mildew, it looks kind of gross. The wood is all rotted, and it just smells of decay. You see the big door Um. that you just came through. Quick question, what is the spell, the one spell above Revivify? The one spell above uh, Raised Dead, Resurrection? No. Well, because I'm using Alexandrite Dust. All right, so that'd be Raised Dead. So I don't know if that's better for him or worse. Uh, It's within a, uh, it's within a minute. So it's kind, I wouldn't even bother. No, because you have to use the material components of Raised Dead, so you'd have to use 500 gold pieces uh, worth of diamonds. Are you going to do that? No, no, no. Alexandrite upcharges. I know. So. If you use 500 gold pieces, because Ra- Raised Dead requires 500, whereas Revivify only uh, requires 300. So that's the upcharge, is you that's can use the components. That's not how we've been playing Alexandra. could have sworn that's no. how we've been playing it. It just, if we have the, the the amount for the base spell, it uh, it upscales the, right uh, the spell. Got it. All right. If that's how we... But it doesn't it, make but... any difference, except for that Raise Dead gives a penalty. Whereas yeah. Revivify doesn't, so I don't know how that works. So we implemented the home rule where if you fall unconscious... Uh, you get a uh, point of exhaustion, and if you die, you gain two points of exhaustion if you're revivified. Uh, that was kind of our homebrew rule. Yeah, race dead is just more of a. Yeah. Sort of, it's a longer amount of time. That you're you have to... like ten hours, I think. Yeah. Ten days. Okay, ten so yeah, days. I would assume that those other effects wouldn't take charge. Then, then I'll just use regular diamond dust. Then I won't use the alexandrite for that. Sounds good. Because we have both. <laughs> So I'm back with two HP or one? One. One. Cool. Solid I'm... one and two points of exhaustion. Cool. Because I don't like this place. I am going to be using several spells to get myself back to normal. I'll give you 21 hit points just to get you started. Okay. Uh, I have to use two greater restorations on myself. I have to write all this down because I can't actually manipulate my goddamn spot slots. Uh. Cinemoira, I give you 15 points lay on hand. Thank you. I am uh, out of lay on hands except for emergency uses, so. And the rest Barry, of you Barry. are good for heals, yeah. Anybody okay. can tap Barry with some necrotic energy would be great. Barry. I got nothing, man. As Barry shakes the dead body from the, uh, the water world that you just were in, and it shakes and it makes a jingle sound. Uh, Barry tears him open to find out what the jingle is. As he tears it open, uh, about a, thou- a thousand gold pieces uh, fall onto the floor in a sack. Uh, it looks like maybe he was a grave robber. Cool. That makes sense. Okay. Grab that sack. All right. Just one, Kurtz. You guys see a door to the south. And I'm going to do creepy music now. We have a new mapper is still in this one. Oh, or didn't I move theater you? Of the man. You did, did not. I'm so sorry. How dare you? 
I think yeah. that deserves so some more So you are in place. a small room. It looks like an entryway with like a like with a chair and a couch, and it's all moldy and sinew and and mildew and crap like that. It smells like decay, yada yada yada. But I, I believe before we got off onto the uh, revivification, I was getting stabbed. And you uh, are missed. no longer. Yeah, she missed. So don't worry about it. Okay. Unless you want to say, why the fuck were you stabbing me or trying to stab me? Yeah, Sammy. yeah. I would like to address why you tried to stab me. They don't have time I mean, for that. Why wouldn't I want to? But I but don't think I was under my own control. I'm going to kick down the door. You kick down the door, which is all decaying and, and gross, <laughs> so it falls pretty easily. You see, like, a kitchen area um, with a fireplace and other things. Don't see anybody hanging out. Not yet. Prison There's another door or prison over guards here. quarters in this in disuse. That's a door. And is this a window or a uh, door or what is this? That's for Barry. Thank you. Um. Okay. Um. This is creepy. Um. Sporlina starts talking to any fungus that's about. Oh. Interesting. It's a projection. How would the fungus respond? Probably it wouldn't then, because it's not technically a fungus if it's a projection. Yeah, I feel like it wouldn't respond. Yeah, Sperlita starts to talk to it and realizes it's being very rude. And then goes, oh no, we're in another prison. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Sorry, Jesse, is this a window or another door? Window. Okay. The only other door you see is right here. All right. Can I knock on the door? Uh, as you get close to it and as you knock on it, you can hear someone like murmuring to themselves, talking in a hushed voice, uh, like, like almost talking to a baby. All right, get ready for the weird shit, everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to tear the door off the hinge. All right, as you tear the door off the hinges, you can see a very old looking, creepy faced woman hag holding what looks to be some sort of a doll or creature in its oh. arms as it's saying I will never let you go you will never leave mommy I will protect you how many babies did this hag kill and eat because I'm just not here for this today uh, Sporlita is immediately going to start busting open windows and doors trying to find a fucking Portal. Exit. A portal. Who, who are you? Uh, we are merely travelers looking to find our way out. Have you come to take my baby? And as you look down, it is literally a stuffed animal with like its eyes popping out and the stuffing is coming out. It, it's kind of gross. It's like a voodoo doll. No, that, it is an adorable baby, though. I'm I'm sure it's very happy to have you as its mother. Mm, so very happy. And at this point, you guys hear what sounds like a mob outside as chanting begins to... Uh, you can hear it outside, and you can see flames walking past the windows. Ah, we have company. They won't take you. I swear it. As it, she looks down at her, uh, uh, like, stuffed animal, in essence, as she prepares herself. Uh, we'll help you help you protect your baby if you let us know if there's anything, any kind of strange, whirling uh, magics around here that you're unfamiliar with or can't pass through yourself. No such magics yet uh, before I have my chance at this crowd. At this point, uh, bolts of arrows begin flying in through the windows and the doorways and the rotted holes and such. Uh, everyone's going to make a D100, a 60 or higher, you get hit by a bolt. Uh, 60 or higher, Sina. Sporlina. Yeah, I'm not surprised anymore. Sick. And all right, so Senna, Sporolina, you take eight points of damage from the bolt and nine points of damage from the psychic damage from the Echo Wraith. What's the bolt? Crossbow bolt. It's a crossbow bolt. Oh, oh like an actual bolt. Sorry. Yes. I was yep. thinking of bolt like of a bolt of magic. 
Nope, As you up. see Pew-pew. the arrows fly through, one of them strikes through the poor stuffed animal, throwing its head, rolling onto the ground, stuffing, flying everywhere. As the hag, wide, eyes wide open, goes, No, you know, I can't repair you. No, no. As she starts freaking out. What are you guys doing? Um, uh, it's active feet, like knocking shit over, pushing open windows, trying to find the fucking portal. Investigation oh, check. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll the help fireplace. you find somebody to repair them. I'm gonna just look in the cupboards and the fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Uh, you try really hard this round, but you can't. Kaylor, you said you were gonna do it too. Go ahead and try. Yeah, I'm gonna check the fireplace first. Um, okay. Give me an investigation check. Oh, Jesus. Can, wow. Can I just, like, try to persuade and calm her uh, and just be like, um, assuredly, a woman of your power and immense magical talents knows that such things are minute obscurances of life. Your child will be fine. This was her most regretful and hurt moment in her life that she is reliving. Make a persuasion check. The DC is a 24. She is not calming down and freaking out even more as another wave of bolts comes through. Everyone make a D100 check. 50 or higher, you get hit. above of god <laughs> everyone okay. takes 12 points of damage everyone okay something's wrong with the d100 <laughs> there was so much 70 rules 71 71 that's very interesting and you guys are married how much so how much damage a whopping 12 points uh four from the bolt and eight from psychic okay i'm not feeling too hot guys can we can we figure this out, you guys please? Need investigation check again. All of you are welcome to search now. Okay, I'm going to do some searching. Can I do perception instead of investigation? Uh, sure, it doesn't matter. Spore Lena, <laughs> so no, you got it. Uh, you look under the bed, you actually flip the mattress over, and there is the portal inside of this mattress at this point. Let's go, everybody! <laughs> Let's go, guys! Come on. Let's... And I've started... I, I'm using my mage hand to, like, slap asses to get people going. All right. As you pass the crying hag, uh, who is extremely upset and dis- distraught, uh, you guys are able to rush through into the portal without much of an issue. But um... before I go, I am going to look at the hag, and I'm going to tell her that I'm sorry about this, and then I'm going to jump in. Okay. All well, right. She definitely, like, kidnapped a baby. Right. <laughs> oh, for sure. But I could still oh. have some sympathy for a person that didn't try to murder us. So we're just going to go. You know what? Maybe she didn't kidnap a baby. Maybe she was just shrekking her life out in the swamp and people thought she ate baby. Shrekking Probably. her life. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me get you guys. Okay. So you guys are in uh, this beautiful park. And this guy. Wisdom save. Uh, hold on, pause. Uh, so you first all take a whopping 11 points of psychic damage as you pass through the portal. On top of that, seven. We've gone from Mm -hmm. 10, 9, 8, and 7. That's pretty funny. A mind-scattering energy seeps from the portal's swirl. Each creature must succeed on a charisma saving throw or suffer the effects of Bane. Elora, holy I Jesus. <laughs> I goodbye, you guys. <laughs> you and Barry can be together. Oh. 17 ain't bad, but all right. Barry is still technically uh whatchamacallit, uh Bark inspired, and uh but he is now baned, which is the red thing I'm gonna put in there. Sporolina, you are baned. Everything has what a is baned minus, again? minus D4. Minus a D4. Okay, that's right. 
you guys look around. It is a beautiful park. Swings, trees, grass, everything. Uh, the outside is beautiful. And you can see like a large fence that kind of closes you in. Um, but beyond that is, is a bustling city, loud and such. But this is like a tranquil, quiet place. Uh, nice and calm and such. All right. Um, where's the rapist? Okay. Also, oh, uh, I'm also I'm casting gonna... mass cure wounds for our group. I was just going to do it. Dear God, thank you. You remember So 30... HP for anyone who needs it. Oh wow! Thank you, Jesus. You are a saint. Hold on. Uh... My head hurts. <laughs> Hold on. Now I'm curious. Now I'm confused. Uh... Uh... Jesse's like, no, wait. Where is the rapist? Any damage more? Uh, as, you heal, as you heal. For 22, all of you take 22 points of damage. You do not heal. You actually take 22 points of damage. 30, then. I don't remember oh, what my health was before the heal, Jess. You were too slow. Well, I'm out. I'm, I'm, I pass out. I have you, right. Are you not at 86 health right now? She wasn't keeping no. track of it that way, no. Oh, okay. No, I am. How do we know when we need to heal you? Sorry, it kept hitting me and hitting me. I will dump one point of lay on hands. All right, I, I guess I won't. Uh, you're just unconscious. Awesome. He is uh, death failing or death saving. What are you guys uh, doing? You see her go down. You all take. The I'm gonna. Li- of I'm gonna pick her up and I say we need to find the portal now. As yeah. you At attempt least I'm to a pick her human. up, as you attempt to pick her up and go towards oh, Jesse, her, don't you, you begin walking backwards. All right. Uh, I'm gonna walk backwards away from Kurt. As you do that, you walk forwards towards Kurt. and punch him in the shoulder. Uh, as you oh. punch him in the shoulder, uh, you deal. Go ahead and deal your damage. Kurt, you heal for nine, eight, seventeen points of damage. Or you heal. Oh, oh fuck yeah. Sporley has needed this for a whole fucking Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Beating the shit out of Kurt. <laughs> can we beat the shit out of Cinna? Yeah, Cinna, she make, can a, Cinna. make a death save. Make a death save. A natural 20 will kill you, a natural 1 will save you. I'm going to stab her with my healing sword. <laughs> Go ahead and make a death save, Cinna. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, all right, a four. That is a success. Congrats. Uh, yeah. As Elora, you come to stab her. Go ahead and stab her. <laughs> you guys watch as Cinna, your uh, your body, somehow <gasps> regaining health by being stabbed. I'm, giving, you, I'm, you I'm pumping a me. I'm pumping a third level smite into that. So I mean, you don't it's need to. Opposite break. world. Yeah, it's pretty much opposite world. Exactly. Everything is reversed, though. 46 health to you, so... Uh, I get two attacks. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, so... Does 19 hit you, Kurt? <laughs> uh, no. How about a 28? Yeah. It's another 36 to you, so... A 35? Yes. Kurt? Oh. 35 HP. Stop with the alligators! The crocodiles, thank you. I assume that's where the portal was going to be. In. <laughs> As you guys see, some crocodilians uh, come out. and uh, I am going to start walking backwards. Hold on. All right. All right, really quick. Who's, does anybody else still need heals? Kurtz? Me, yeah. All right. Barry's just going to start slamming. Uh, Kurt, he's very crying as he's hitting He's having things. so much fun. <laughs> uh, Barry, Spor- this is going to be Kurtz, uh, Senna, then Spor- I will let Barry hit me. As, just the, take- as the Echo Wraiths, uh, in essence, are, are thinking backwards and trying to attack you, they begin healing you with all of their attacks. And so, in essence, you guys max out your... Yeah! Attacks. Go ahead and just 
uh, heal all the way up as they just keep on biting and biting and biting, and you have to figure out how to leave this place. Um, okay, as they're biting us, I'm gonna just, like, walk backwards. Can I close my eyes? So t- Sorry. Towards the pond. I'm walking backwards. Can sure. I close my eyes and not look for the portal? DM discretion. Uh, you could not do a lot of things. Roll a D100 for me. Could I not be a god right now? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. I have an idea. Yes. You mean Go you don't it. have an idea? Um, well, see, that was actually my thing. Is that So, you know how I'm dog shit at investigating? I would like to investigate for the portal. Go ahead and investigate. So you want a low roll? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> <That's really funny. laughs> oh, buddy. I will also invest. You have an you have an inkling that is towards this uh, area right here, and okay. now you're very certain that it, the portal is probably in this. Uh, I am continually walking backwards. Fly up into the sky, Sporley. Points to. Uh, and then I am gonna. Well. I'm going to not slip into the pond. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to put you guys back in the just, air. So it's easier for me to copy and paste I... you. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's not a fuck you. It's, I, it took you a second because I was hoping you'd kill someone by trying to heal them, which you were pretty close to. Uh, but just anyway. our friends. <laughs> just going to stab them. It's fine. You I like opposite world. Pass through the portal. And you arrive. Wait, okay, it was opposite world. Does that mean that Barry was able to heal with my healing spell? That's a good point. Hey, he's but you didn't target him. him. You didn't target him, so yeah. That's fair. I mean, I guess I, I do mass cure wounds, and they were all in my aura. But I, yeah, so. All Ooh, right. Uh, oh, a a bone yard, if you will. Uh, as you guys enter the boneyard, you all take nine points of psychic damage. And, all right, we've done ten, nine, eight, seven. Can we not? My now. head hurts. Or a one. Or a one. Everyone, oh, the crippling bright light of this portal sears the eyes of each creature passing through. You must make a con save or be blinded. I'm immune to of- blinded. Yeah. How many points did you... Nine points, Cinna. That's okay. plus five. I Thank think you. that's a save for Cinna. Hooray! Uh, uh, yeah, Sporlita is immune to being blinded, so she will be just fine. Halor barely squeaking through. Now, are these real bones or fake bones? Would you like to investigate? <laughs> you gotta lick them. That's how you yeah. find out if they're real or not. You gotta lick them. I would like to lick the bone. Does it stick to his tongue or not? I would argue that's a medicine check. Uh, sure. I mean, yeah. I, I got to assume Hurts. that if there's Hurts. not a living person doing shit around in any one of these places, it means that they have done. All right. Orbit. With that 28, it is very much, uh, uh, real bones and as you guys look around you're trying to find whoever it is that you just identified like you, you thought about that like where would they be and you look up and they are floating maybe 20 feet above you and just kind of looking down at the field below them as uh, you guys can see uh, this individual not really sure what they're doing and then you see the bones begin to move nice as the bones begin to move huh this kurtz's tongue stuck to it like a metal telephone pole (laughs) (laughs) Mm, dusty you guys see these bone things begin to move and we are going to get the turn order back you still have yet to find the portal and they see you and they're going to attack and they're trying to attack the individual who's flying as well. Are we re-rolling initiative? 
Yes, please. I guess. Holy moly with the rolls today. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Barry Bone Friends. Barry's gonna be really upset when he realizes that these are illusions and he can't eat them. <laughs> oh, he said the right bones are real. Illusions, they are very much real. Oh, sick! Eat the bones, Barry! Eat them! We're taking some of these bones home with us, guys. Finally Whee! getting my tier 10 Barry. You have yet to find the portal. Uh, this bone boy is gonna go first. He rushes. And as he rushes, he gets caught in some sort of gravitational well and begins to rise up and, like, still kind of, like, travel towards you, but he's now, like, a few feet in the air and rising slowly and is going to attack uh, Elora with uh, an attack, which is plus 15. Oh, I'm so close to that. 20. Uh, plus 15 is 23. 23, Jess. And the next attack will also hit. And as it hits you with a uh, bone spikes, uh, you take 23 points of damage from the first one and 26 from the second. Make a strength saving throw. Sorry, just a second. Uh, uh, Barry's going to do the shield to take some of that damage real quick. Okay. 16 of that. So uh, 23. And then what did you need for... Uh, strength save twice. You're fine. Bury the bone golem. Okay, Barry does not like Mama being attacked. Uh, he's going to come down here. I'm assuming no flanking because it's floating in. The it is floating like five feet barely. Oh, okay. So can we flank it if he moves over here? Okay, cool. As Barry walks over there, uh, he needs to make a uh, intelligence save. <laughs> Let's just say he starts floating. Uh, <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> this is plus five, minus four, so it's going to be a plus four. It's a 17. Yep, there you go. Zero. <laughs> he's now floating, but he's like kind of moving like uh, with where he was going. So uh, he would still get to right around there. Sweet. Hey, uh, Jesse? Yes. I think I got skipped because I rolled a 19. There you are. Yep. Okay, you just were a little late. All right, Barry, finish up and then send his turn. Uh, let's attempt a strength uh, grapple check. I don't know how strong these fuckers All right. Is it a plus 10? That's okay. 26. We'll just beat his ass for the rest of this. Um, let's see. Three attacks. This is probably going to do more damage. This. I apologize, Alora. You take 15 and 11 on top of that for psychic damage. I keep forgetting okay, to accurate. Another 20. Okay, lovely. That's a lot of damage. These guys need to go down fast. Um, all right. <sighs> We're going to go ahead and just slam this... Uh, 20, natural one will miss, 13 will miss, so 12 points so of damage. So you said I was flanking, so 24 will hit, right? Oop. Yep, 24 will hit, so another t 11. T 11? T 11. Um, these guys are undead, so I assume they also cannot be paralyzed. Uh, they cannot. That will be Barry's turn. Alright. Uh, Cinna, you look up and you can see the individual who is currently floating as it looks like he is holding something, uh, around him and, uh, or he's, he's holding like a rod of some sort, uh, but he's just like, do doesn't really seem responsive. Uh, he's moving, but he just is not saying anything. But anyway, Cinna, it is your turn. Lovely. Um, I'd like to do an investigation check to try to find the next portal, please. Perception, probably, unless you want to just, like, investigate the area within your movement speed. You see a bright and shiny light in the rib cage of this boyo over here. Okay. Uh, guys, I think it's the other big one that we need to get to. 
And I'm going to also do a bardic inspiration on Elora. Oh, okay. And I'll do my term. All right. Pretty boy. Okay, okay. Um, five and fifteen. Would a seventeen have hit that thing? Just. Uh, yes, it would have. Okay, cool. I just forgot I was Bane. Good point. Uh, Bane stops. Bane is gone. Uh, it's it's the blindness thing now. Oh, so which we all got passed. Blinded, okay, so awesome. Yeah, so don't worry about Bane. Okay, dokie. I need big boy and these two little boys to make wisdom saving throw. Ah, boy. Guess how wise they are. Hey. What's your save? Nineteen. They all fail. <laughs> okay. What is their CR? Uh, it is, this guy is a 15, uh, Ooh. these wee little guys are sixes. Okay, uh, they now spend a minute running away from me, and that's all I can do. Boo! That was great, that was great. Don't say that's all you can do, that was, like, the best thing you could do. Well, I mean, uh, for action. So, 15, 20, 25, 30. And that'd be all. All right. Uh, this guy, what's the range that he's got? Not close enough. All right. So these guys are going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And they're going to uh, throw a bone at you. <laughs> but bone. as they throw the bone, it looks like it is lit with a like a, like a charge of some sort. Uh, so this is going to be a plus 12. Uh, 11 plus 12 is 23. Yeah. And that'll also hit. And it will hit you with nine points of bludgeoning damage. And then another 12 points of bludgeoning damage. On top of that, the charge goes off. Make a dexterity saving throw twice, please. You're just out of my range. Sorry. Uh, first one, pass. You are going to only take half, six points of necrotic. Next one, you take the full 17 points of necrotic. Uh, this boyo is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. He's off the map. Great. Sporolina. Uh, Sparlina is going to move up 30 feet. Uh, and then she's going to look at this big boy and go, oh, who's a sweet little boy? I'm going to need him to roll a wisdom saving throw, please. <laughs> this is a charm. Yes. They are immune to charm. Oh, are you just saying that? They, they really are immune to charm. Bullshit. I feel like Jesse just to, said that. To be that. fair, Barry is too. <laughs> it's all most undead. Pretty much all undead. Construct. Oh, just, just give me a monster friend, Jesse Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds like a, that sounds like an epic druid uh, quest that we might have to do. You haven't let me have a single pet, okay? I wanted the okay. giant monster friend. Did I you have a have waffle, like tinger? A waffle tinger? Yeah, a waffle tinger. You no, guys I didn't. Had a, that was me. And neglected. Wait, Wait, no, what about the hand? That was me, and the I axe. left it at the bar. Yeah, the hand axe. You had the hand axe. Was yeah. Wait, what about the <laughs> little also, lizard thing? And the dragon. There was a dragon. It ran oh. away from me. You had it run away from me. Did I to join the... its to join its group? Did I give you the Bulbasaur? No. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a fucking exploding cap at Jesse. <laughs> and I think it naturally hits. No, I'm gonna throw uh, oh, as my bonus action, I'll throw a cap at this one. Stupid. He's running away, I mean, if you really want to. Natural one, miss anyway. <laughs> Great. You maybe don't sound like you're celebrating, Jesse. Alright. Kaylor. 
<laughs> Why? Uh, we're separated by a thousand me miles. It's fine by me. <laughs> I need you to start thinking more like we're only separated by one plane flight. <laughs> That's what I need you to start thinking. There is a connecting flight, so... <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! Um, Googling one-way ticket. <laughs> anyway, I'm Kayla, sorry. Move over here, and I am going to. Oh man, Gary Boyo. Well, this thing can't be that quick moving, right? Probably. Pretty sure about that. Yeah, because <laughs> fantasy rules. <laughs> Bigger means it's slower, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. I am going to cast Finger of Death at the the, the, the big boy -o. He is oh, running he... away, by the way. He is like, what? he is running, running away. That one's running I thought it was the other one that was running away. The heart one oh. is running away. All three. I, like, all the ones with the heart are running away. I think he from was, he was talking about this guy. Oh, this I, I was thinking on the other one, but I was confused. Okay, all right, yeah, that the, I'll, I will get the, the the yellow dot big one. That's the one with the portal in his chest. So yeah, definitely do well, it. Well, go for it. it. All right, kill the portal. We got kill two portal. little tiny boys that are really really close. Hey, like really really close. This is a plus ten. True, but he's he used to watching his brother. <laughs> 28. And they are immune to necrotic. Oh, oh wait. I could have sworn that was... Wait. Finger of Death? Are you thinking I... of Disintegrate? Oh, I was thinking of Disintegrate. <laughs> I'll let you roll Disintegrate. <laughs> okay. Maybe a deck seat. Uh, they have a whopping plus two. <laughs> Natural one always fails. How would you like to disintegrate this individual? Um, bone dust. Lots of bone dust. <laughs> As the bone dust uh, dissipates, uh, you see the portal left behind by its body. Anything else? Oh, wow. Gee. Well, uh, the portal stopped moving, guys. <laughs> All done. Oh, oh wait. Uh, yeah, it looks already moved. Yeah, yeah. All right, Alora, what you doing? Oh, everything's so far away. Where is the dude floating, by the way? Uh, about 20 feet above you. Like, directly above me? Roughly, yeah. R roughly your group. Yeah. You said it's just a, it seems like a dude wearing robes, and he's holding some kind of a rod, right? Indeed. And looking in awe, like, oops. I did an oopsie. Yep. Um, cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm going to go. Yeah, I guess I'll stop there and I'll hold my action for Four. anything attacking. Uh, we that runs with an attack. All right, this guy's dead, so he ain't doing much. Uh, this guy is running away. It's the top of the round. You guys feel a dramatic shaking of the prison as it seems to be malfunctioning even more. Uh, everyone, make a strength save. No. You see 17. Everybody but Barry gets my oh, plus. Fucking get it. I beat his ass. Oh. All right, Sporolina, Alora, Cinemora, you guys are now floating like the levitate uh, spell. Uh, not Alora, Barry. Oh, Barry, sorry. Kalo, did you roll your stank? Oh, no, I did not. You are shockingly fine. All right. Those of you who are floating, you must make a intelligence check as an action to use your movement speed to fly. Or Barry. Like right Barry now. might be left behind. 
This could be how I get rid of Barry once and for all. <laughs> uh, all right, so this creature is running away. Run, run, run. It probably is flying at this point, too. Uh, Cinna, it is your turn. You wait, wait, wait. Does it make an intelligence check to try and run away? It probably can't, but we'll, well do it anyway. We DC 17. Uh, minus four, so nope. So it is a speed of zero? <laughs> it has a speed of zero. It's uh, just like, right. it's like Scooby doing in the air. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. Uh, Senna, you uh, lost your intelligence. You cannot move. Unless you have like the fly uh, like spell or something like that. Can oh, I cool. use... Oh, okay, this is a dumb question. Sure. Can I use... Mage hand to push myself forward. Interesting. This is a unique. It can push ten pounds, but you're kind of weightless at this moment. Mm -hmm. I know. It's pretty smart. That is kind of smart. I I like your ingenuity. I will allow it. Okay, I, I am going to use mage hand and push my ass towards the towards the portal. All right. Go I your don't... 30 feet. Okay. Bury the bone golem. Instead of trying to fly, can Barry grab a hold of this dude and crawl, like, like trying to launch himself off of him? Like pushing off a wall in a pool? Yep, yep. I kind of like it. Uh, sure, go ahead and make an air on athletics. Uh, DC 17. Uh, I will use the bardic. Ah, don't forget the bardic. Oh, just, just barely. Just missed it. <laughs> All right. Stop moving your arms around. Wait, how high are they off the ground? Uh, like five feet, not even. Oh, should be able to yeah, so, yeah, I can move that. I have a 15 foot reach. So you're like grabbing the ground. It's just like, yeah, just like, pull, just drawing me something. Two, two arms go out the back and just start scooping bones into a pile, and he's just going to grab a bunch of bones with him as he's moving. All right. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> All right. He's got a 45-foot speed, I believe, right now. So, actually... Um, um actually, when he gets... Just below floating, dude. Can he let himself float back up to five feet and try and grab the rod out of the dude? Uh, as an action, already you're doing a lot uh, for an action. You're like crawling. I'll say that you can hold on to the ground right where the dude is and wait for your next turn to grab it, uh, to grab the rod. Sure. I'll do that. Well, the other, the other, the other, I can't move any further anyway, so I, I, maybe 10 more feet, gotcha. so I'll just stop there. All right. Kurtz. Uh, Kurtz is going to go 5, 10 underneath freedom of movement on Sporelina. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and that's it. Uh, all right. These dudos are going to rush. Oops. Rush forward to Elora and I'll get on either side. Attack on the first guy. Play attack. Uh, so, um, you guys are both on top of a cactus. So, ow. So, I have a question, Jesse. Yes. <sighs> this is just kind of weird. We flavor my my smites as necrotic because of my my just character type. But being a paladin, I get extra damage against undeads on my smite. But undeads are generally necrotic, immune resistant. I, I just how does maybe that... celestial. I would maybe give it to okay. celestial. Instead. That makes sense. Okay, so I guess I won't do any kind of smiting. But we will do oh, papa, my attacks. Oh, I had decapitate him with the second one before he fucking even touches. me. Wham! Now, why do you get an attack when they get into movement speed? Is that a I held my attack? That's right, you did. All right, cool. He gone, and 
That was that. And now this guy is going to make his attack at 16 plus 10, 26. Uh, it's not an advantage because the guy got killed. He doesn't have flanking on 11, so 22. 22 still hits, barely. All right. And then it's going to do a whopping 16 plus 12 psychic. So 16 slashing, or, or this is bludgeoning, and then 12 psychic. Gotcha. And uh -huh. this guy is dead. And Sporlina. I rolled my intelligence, so 21. <clears throat> no, you have freedom of movement. You wouldn't have needed to. Kurt's cast them in. Oh, no! You sweet little man. Um... <laughs> Okay, I'm going to tell you 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, did, I, did I skip Kurtz's turn? No. no. Oh, sorry. I just didn't do much with it. <laughs> uh, what was I going to do? Dang it, what is that freaking thing called? What is that spell called? <laughs> You know what? We're just going to go ahead and uh, use my action for move, for, as, for my movement. 5, 10, 15, 20. And I'm going to tippity tap the stone and see what happens. Stone? What do you mean, stone? This, oh, it's the, just a portal? I thought the portal looked like a stone. No, it, it is a portal now. It's just hovering. Oh, okay. Into the portal we go. You go through the portal. All I'm right. just the first one through, okay? <laughs> you are also you're... out of my range, so you're not going to get my plus for going through. It's all right. All right, Kaylor. All right, I'm going to move 15, 30, and dash to the portal. You are outside of her aura. You're in the portal. You're good to go. Uh, this dude is running away. Laura. Uh, some of the, uh, wounds on my body begin to automatically heal up. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and attack this motherfucker so he can't come up behind us. Um, I'm gonna use, just for fucking fun's sake, I'm gonna use Dangerous Strikes, uh, to make my crit zone a 19. You dangerous. Oh, that There's... one is a 19 out of crit, so that I'm going to decapitate this motherfucker. I mean, I'm pretty sure they can survive without their head, but I'll still allow it because. Oh, I can roll the extra damage, Jesse, if that's if you wanted me no, to do that. Fine. Uh, <laughs> uh, I will take uh, my full move. Keeping Senna in my space. Sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, that's my turn. All right. These guys pretty much not doing anything. Uh, Sina, you need to either figure out a way to move with your mage hand. You already did. So never mind. Uh, how far can your mage hand move? I think it can only go 30 feet, but I feel like that's only 30 feet away from me. I think you can move it up to 30 feet on your yeah, bonus Yeah, I action. think so too. So, okay, well, anyway. I guess I'll do another 30 feet. There you go. Easy oh, peasy. Uh, at the start of this round, however, uh, you guys feel another jerking motion and an earthquake-like uh, thing occurring as more and more of this breakdown of the prison is occurring. Uh, I'm going to need those of you who are left behind to make your uh, strength saving throw or be lifted up into the air. That is Kurtz and Laura. And Barry. Well, you have a plus five, so that's an 18. You're good. Huh. Uh, Barry was already floating, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. I didn't know if he had to float more. Or what. Yeah. Uh, all right. So with that, you guys are fine. And uh, you hear... You hear the same steady voice of, of Bunty Buntrose echoing off the walls in this reflecting room. Kill him now. There might still be time. Otherwise, uh, we're all doomed. 
he's talking about killing Von Horn. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's not gonna harm you. We don't have but... enough. We don't have enough rounds to kill Von Horn before this place is full. All right, uh, bear the bone golem. Uh, reach up, try and grab that rod from that mother. Without even a problem, you grab the rod off of this dumbfounded and awed individual. Cool. You Barry eats him. Rod. I'm just kidding. Uh, Barry will <laughs> just go on all fours. Prop, 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 five. And uh, that's his turn. You. All right. And uh, pretty much, there's really nothing else you guys can do. Uh, we're going to say that you guys pass through without issue. And everyone is going to take 10 points of psychic damage. And the last one. It's a four. A horrible skin rotting ray of energy appears to sap life from each creature th passing through the portal. Each creature must make a con saving throw or take necrotic damage. Barry chooses Everyone to make fail. A con save. <laughs> yeah, figured. Oh, what a shit roll. Cinna, you still pass. Sporlin, you fail. Kaylor, you pass. Uh, 12 points of damage to Sporlina. And I as think much I actually save. have advantage on this. Okay. Oh, no, not anymore. Never mind. I, I remembered what I had. Uh, what's her face's like amulet? It gave me advantage uh, against spells of like necrotic damage to save uh, against them. Yeah, but I I don't have it attuned to me anymore. Got it. All right. Uh, so Sporlina, you take uh, twelve points of damage. The rest of you take six points of necrotic damage. Barry, you heal for twelve points of damage, and I'm gonna zoop. and from here. And as you, you guys feel yourselves being pulled through the portal one last time. And as you do, you look upon the glass floor that is the hallway that you are supposed to be walking through from the very beginning. And that is a wonderful place for us to end on. Dun dun dun! Da -da -da. This episode is sponsored by Tumani underscore and Rona. <laughs> on Reddit. I, I don't get it. That's because it's all my maps. Oh, got it. <laughs> That's true. Thank you very much, Ree, for making the maps in such a You're short amount welcome. of time. As You're per welcome. usual, because I, God forbid, I give you a week ahead of time. Uh, instead, I give you hours and say, make it, damn it, and then you do. It gave her uh, a nice no, break from, <laughs> from folding laundry. Yeah. I am really I really am good under stress, so. Um, that's, why, that's why I do it. So two things. One, uh, I'm interested to see if the floor and shield guardian mechanics will kick in since the divine, divine intervention. I don't know if that had any effect on those extra features activating. Uh, and number two on this map... Uh, if you look at this half skeleton up here and then this long spinal cord down here, it kind of looks like he was a, a, a large underwater mermaid. Uh, that <laughs> got That's exactly what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. was going or like a Yonti abomination. Pineapple. So, uh, a fun little fact, uh, Kurtz came to me in the secondary voice channel and was like, just so you know, I failed my divine intervention, and I thought that he had a, a had an auto divine intervention, and I didn't realize it, and I just went with it. So, so We're now I it. owe a favor to my god. God. Well, damn. you also can't use it for seven days, which thank God. I don't. Yeah, this is the second time I've used it. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's it's throwing the wrench in my plans, is what it is. Uh, cool. all right. Cool. Well, well, thanks for joining us. Uh, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, uh, algorithm stuff. Find, watch out for polls, uh, both in real life and on the YouTube stream. Yeah, hit the polls or dance on them. Dance on or polls. lick them and stick your tongue to it. Especially if they're dancing. Don't do polls. that. Don't <laughs> don't do that one. Oh, actually, we condone that. Do that.